Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape a simple website and how fast you can do it once you have some strong basics of scraping with Node.js. This is not really going to be a tutorial, it's more of a raw coding follow along type of videos. And I just want to mention that I also have a great course that will teach you everything you want to know when you're getting into scraping for which I'm going to link a special coupon below just for the people who watch from YouTube at a very high discount. So check it out if you're interested. If not, I also have a free blog where I write a lot of stuff about scraping and yeah, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I'm on my profile at dev.to and if you've never heard of this website, go check it out because it's a community full of developers which post cool articles and also discuss different things in tech. What I'm going to show you is how you can scrape almost everything from this page in just a few minutes. So let's get going. The first thing that I want to do is basically copy this URL, go back in the code and I'm going to say something like this constant base underscore URL and I'm going to paste in the link and remove my username and right below I'm going to make another constant which holds my username and I'm going to input my profile name right here. Okay. Secondly, I want to build the request to the server, which will bring back the HTML content, which then can be parsed. So I'm going to say something like this. Let response equal await request. And right here, I'm going to input the base URL. And then after that, I'm going to input the username. Okay. Now that I have the content, I want to process it with Cheerio and I'm going to say let dollar sign equal Cheerio.load and inside of here I'm going to add response and then I'm going to add some extra option which is going to be normalize white space, setting this to true and now I want to get back in the browser and see how I can scrape the full name, profile picture and also the description for the moment. I'm going to right click on my name, inspect, and right here I want to see how I can handle this. And directly I see that I have a span with item prop name. I want to try it out and see if there's nothing else with this uh, exact item prop. And I'm going to say document.query selector. And right here I'm going to say span with item prop equals to name and it doesn't work uh, actually right here i spelled it wrong hit enter and perfect i get my name i'm just going to copy this selector for the moment go back in the code and start parsing the details so i'm going to say something like this and then i'm going to create a variable with full name and right here i'm going to make use of the cheerio library and I'm going to paste in this selector and also then I want to get the text and trim it. Perfect. I'm going to make another variable for the description and another one for the profile picture. Okay, let's go back in the console and see how we can get the description. Inspect on it. And directly what I can see that it uses the same standard with item prop equal description. I'm going to test it again right here. Instead of span, I'm going to use a P and instead of name description, hit enter. I get the full text from the description. Copy this selector, go back in the code, paste it right here. And again, I want to get the text and then trim it. Okay, back in the DevTools and also the page, right click and inspect on the profile picture. See what classes we have right here. Image class profile pic and also let's see above. Div class with profile pic wrapper, user profile header container. Perfect, we can use some of this and I think I'm going to use this one and also furthering to the image as a child. Okay, let's hit up on the keyboard 
instead of this one I'm going to say div with a class of profile pic wrapper and then I want to get the direct image from it. Hit enter and this is the one. Perfect. Copy this one, go back in the code and I'm going to say right here again paste it and then instead of the text I want to get a special attribute which is going to be the href and then that's basically it for these three details. Now let's get back in the browser and see how we can get the socials. Right click, inspect and see what we have right here. Right here we have a paragraph with the class of social and all the links that we need. Okay, I'm going to first try this out and see if it works. Hit up on the keyboard and right here, paragraph with a class of social. and then hit enter and yes it works properly we get the element and with this being said i'm going to copy this uh, selector and i'm going to go back in the code i'm going to say something like this parsing socials right here i'm going to create an array let socials equal this array is basically going to contain all the links of the socials and now I want to basically do this paste right here and then I'm going to iterate over each of the A elements so I'm going to make sure that I attribute this to a child and then right here I use the each function and I'm going to get the index and also the element fat arrow function Right here, in order to get the link, I'm going to do something like this. Let URL equals, and I'm going to make use of the element, and then I'm going to get the attribute, which is going to be href. And now I want to push it onto the socials array, just like this. Social push URL. Looking pretty nice. And now I'm going to get back in the page and I want to get this and I want to get these details. Let's see how we get. Inspect and of course we're going to have key value pairs and let's see what we got. We're going to use the same method as before and if class user metadata details inner, perfect. I'm going to copy this, go back right here paste it, copy this uh, code, paste it again right here. Also I'm going to make another variable called details which is going to be an object and also cut this one and paste it right here and instead of a elements I want to get divs which are the class of row as I believe. Let's see, yes, row, row, row and right here I'm going to say let key let value element okay let's see how we can get them we are in the row and then we have a class of key and then we have a class of value pretty straightforward and easy to do find div with the class of key or we can say something like dot key and then I'm going to get the text and trim it and I'm going to do the same for the value but instead of key I'm going to get the value okay instead of pushing into an array I'm going to say details key equals value perfect And now to not forget this must be a div which is going to equal to a class just like this. Perfect. Now let's go back in the page and let's see what we can scrape. Now let's say we want to get the statistics. Right click. See what we have right here. 
div class sidebar data and also widget right here which is the skills okay so we have sidebar data with a bunch of divs okay we're going to make an array of this and see what we can do copy this one go back in the code and we're basically going to do the same thing parse statistics And guys, as you can see, this website is pretty straightforward to scrape. They have such cool namings for their classes. Perfect for scraping. Right here, I'm going to say statistics equal to an array because we are going to have an array of strings and basically do the same thing. Div with a class equal to this one. And then we want to get the divs and iterate over each of them index and then the element fat error function and let string equal and then we're going to get the text and also trim it perfect and now i'm going to say statistics dot push string that's it and also we didn't test anything, but we're going to do it after we are finished. So let's get back in the browser and see what else we can get. Okay, we got these statistics. Let's get also these ones. Right click, inspect. And we see here sidebar, which includes everything right here. User sidebar, and then we have the widget. And I guess these can be multiple of them. So I want to make sure and also go to another profile and let's see who else we can get from this website. Okay, Ben Halpern, this is the CEO of uh, Dev.to. Shout out to you if you see this video. Okay, yes, indeed, we have multiple of them. Right click, inspect. And as you can see, all the widgets are here. We can make use of the user sidebar and then select all the widgets. Okay, copy this, paste it right here, and then I'm going to copy this code, paste it again right here because we're making use of it. Let's see. Parsing some extra data. Instead of details, I'm going to say widgets. Widgets. And I'm going to make use of the user sidebar, put it like this. And we want to get divs that have the class of widget. Now let's get back in the dev tools and see how we can get the property, which is going to be the key and also the value. Okay, we see that we have a header element and also we have a div with the class of widget body, which is going to hold the text of it. Okay, let's pull this right here so that we can see the dev tools and right here instead of dot key i want to find the header and then get the text and also trim it and right here instead of the dot value i want to get the widget body and that's basically it and of course replace the details with the widgets now i want to test it out and see if everything that i wrote is working and I'm going to do that by console.logging everything that we got as an object. Debugger, just so that it stops right here so we have access. And I'm going to start it. Perfect, it stopped right here, which means we don't have any error. I'm going to open up the debugger console make it a bit more larger and expand on the object description details romania of course works nice full name profile picture we get undefined which means something is not right we're going to check it right now socials all the socials right here statistics perfect widgets skills okay looks pretty nice only thing we need to check is the profile picture. I'm going to close the run, 
pull them right here and see what we got. So let's scroll a bit up, profile picture URL, attribute href. Here is the problem. We want to get the source because images don't have href. Let's start to run it again and see if it works. Pull a bit up, we have the object and then we have the full URL, which means it's working. Perfect. I'm going to stop it right here, go back in the page and as you can see there are other things to scrape also but I think you get the point, this is very easy to do I don't want to extend this video any longer because it's already about 15 minutes and what I wanted to say is thank you if you've got this far also like or comment or subscribe if you like this and again I'm going to say that I will leave all the links in the description below thank you again for watching.